How's it going, guys? This is Emoji Ethan here, and today we're going to be up opening one, two, three, four Lego minifigures series 17. So, yeah, and then at the end of the video, we'll have a surprise bond bag. But, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all the characters I want out of the wave, and then we'll go ahead and open these now. The main three characters I want out of this wave are. Uh, the gladiator, which a lot of people don't like, because we've had two gladiators in the past, but, um, number one, I've never gotten a Lego gladiator from a minifigure series, and number two, I feel like this gladiator is a lot more unique than the previous ones we've gotten, since all the other ones wear helmets and have armor, and this one does not, so, yeah, I also want Yummy, which I believe that's what this guy's called, Yummy, um, and I want the mystery minifigure because that guy looks awesome. So yeah, anyways, um, let's go ahead and open up the first package. Which I'm going to use scissors so I can keep the packaging um, in contact uh, good and not have it all messed up. And first up we got, yes, it's my lucky day because we got Yummy right away. So yeah. Anyway, so here is Yummy and sorry about the background noise once again because there is uh, people mowing the lawn outside. And yeah, he is pretty cool. I mean, one thing I want to go ahead and talk about is this. It's really cool because they use the walkie-talkie piece. Then they, in uh, light gray, then they put a one-by-one one printed tile on it. And a one-by-one one cheese slope that has printing on it. And it just looks really nice. And yeah, it's a really cool piece. Then Yummy himself, he's also just really cool in general because, um... Yeah, he has this nice, like, fade in the sunglasses, which is really cool. Um, it's just this is a really nice fade effect. And then he has some nice printing on the torso. And um, he has printing on the legs. Then he has dual the arms with printing of the sleeves rolled up, which is also really cool. Um... Yeah, there he is. He's back on the base now. And yeah, no back printing, but the dome with the arms make up for that. Plus, it's not really necessary on this minifigure. And he also does use the uh, Batman v Superman Superman hairpiece. So, um, yeah. I mean, people complain about this hairpiece being too common. And they could just use a different hairpiece. But I feel like this hairpiece works and really captures... This um, minifigure really well. And yeah, so that is yummy. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the next bag, which is. Oh, um, the weightlifting dude. Okay, so here is the weightlifter. Honestly, I'm not that impressed with this minifigure. I don't exactly like him too, too much, but. Um, yeah, I do like his torso. I mean, his legs are okay. And the um, the mustache is pretty cool because that, they don't ever, Lego never uses that piece anymore. So it's nice to see that. And then that's, that piece is pretty nice. But I honestly, I prefer the, um, the uh, skateboard wheels that they use in one of the previous minifigure series for a weightlifter. And yeah, and then we just go ahead and move the mustache. Yeah, it gives you completely different vibes on the expression that this guy is giving you. And I honestly, I like this. I kind of like this head. This head's actually pretty nice um, to get. And yeah, so anyways, that is the weightlifter. And also one thing I forgot to point out is that he does have dual molded legs. So yeah, time to open up the next bag. Let's see who we get. Oh, it's the veterinarian. So here is the veterinarian, and yeah, um, she's pretty cool. I wasn't hoping for, but she's actually a nice minifigure because her hair piece, believe it or not, is actually a new mold, new mold, and her face print's nice. The torso is really nice, dual molded arms. Uh, it actually does have back printing, which is actually kind of surprising. I didn't think this minifigure had back printing. Um. And yeah, then she has some like turquoise blue hands. And then she has a little badge on her on her knees. 
that's uh that has a little ID, but instead of saying a name on it, it has a paw print, which is really nice because that means you can name her whatever you want. And probably the show stealer of this minifigure is the bunny because that is a new mold. Um, and yeah, it just is a really nice mold. So yeah, it's a pretty cool bunny. And yeah, anyways, I'm just going to get this out of the background. And let's go ahead and uh, open the next volume bag. Okay, so this is our last uh, LEGO minifigure Series 17 volume bag we're going to open up today. Because once again, I do have a uh, surprise blind bag. So anyways, let's hope it's the mystery minifigure or the gladiator. And it's just another veterinarian. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to take a good look at this one just because, well, I mean, we just got her. So... Um, yeah, so, anyways, I mean, yeah. Okay, so there are all the minifigures we got for LEGO Series 17. And, yeah, um, I was hoping for no duplicates. I mean, I'm sorry to want him. I guess he's getting a little bit better, but he's still not the best. And the Veterinarian, she's pretty cool. Definitely not the best of this wave. And, yeah, but anyway, so, here's all the other minifigures that you can get in this wave, though. Which you can get the Highwayman, aka the Mystery Minifigure, uh, the real, the Princess, which I like to call Princess Zelda, the uh, Working Out Woman. I don't really care for that one. Rocket Boy, which is pretty cool. Yummy, which I got. Um, Classic Spaceman, which he's also pretty cool. Uh, the Battle Dwarf, which he's pretty cool. That guy, he's only cool, or the like Frenchman. That's only cool because of the uh, Bulldog. The veterinarian, which we got in this video. This guy, he's pretty cool. He's a fast food worker. Um, the fairy girl, she's pretty cool. The gladiator, which is one that I wanted. The corner coven, which I personally don't like that one that much. I don't know. He's, he just doesn't appeal to me like other um, character ones do. The cook, the weightlifter, or whatever his name is. I don't know what his name is. And the surfer, which he's pretty cool because of the shark surfer. And that it swimsuit's actually in red instead of blue. So, yeah. But anyways, um, so the mystery blind bag that we have is actually a Lego Batman movie blind bag. Because, well, this was the last one that they had. So, I thought I might as well just pick it up for this video just for fun. Plus, this will probably be the last Lego Batman blind bag I'll open. So, fingers crossed for lobster-loving Batman and Red Hood. So, anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. And we got, oh, it's an Arkham Asylum Joker, which I already have. Just wonderful. I was hoping maybe this could make up for the duplicate that we already got. Yay. Okay, so here is Arkham Asylum Joker. He comes with these handcuffs, which actually these handcuffs are nice to get because I've been cutting the chains off of a few of my handcuffs for some custom minifigures. Uh, mainly, well, I've only done it for one minifigure so far and yeah i mean he's pretty cool uh there is a arkham asylum joker that comes in a bigger set this one just has a different um head and yeah i mean the hair piece it's okay i've never really liked the lego batman movie joker hair piece i wish they one just went with uh something that's not as afro like um even though the joker is a clown but he's never really had an afro and the Arkham Asylum suit, that's pretty nice to get if you're making any Lego Arkham Asylum customs or like an Arkham Asylum custom set. Or if you have the Lego Arkham Asylum and you just want to add more um, cellmates or just prisoners at Arkham Asylum. But anyway, so the many figures that you can get in the Lego Batman movie, I think I'll just go ahead and, you know, take a look at it because, you know, why not? And yeah so um you can get the mime which isn't that interesting she's not that cool minifigure king tut which i have him um i don't really exactly like him that much as a lego batman movie minifigure i mean it is a cool uh old batman tv reference but doesn't make for the best minifigure since we've gotten so many ancient egypt minifigures calculator which i have march harry which i don't have uh, Catman, which he's really cool. I don't have him. 
Zodiac Man, Orca, I have that one, um, Nurse Harley Gwynn, my sister has that one, the pencil, Red Hood, which I wanted, um, Batgirl, Pink Power Batgirl, which I do have, Dick Grayson, I do have, Joker, I, of course, have, I got him, uh, Agent Commissioner Gordon, I don't have him, I don't have that one either, of, uh, uh, Barbara Gordon, don't have that version of Batman, which he's really cool, don't have Caveman Batman, don't have Fairy Batman, I have, uh, that Batman, trying to think of his name, and I also don't have Lobster Loving Batman. So, yeah, I mean, anyways, that's going to about wrap up this uh, minifig blind bag opening. I mean, I hope you did enjoy. Um, obviously, my favorite minifigure that I did get was um, Yummy, or as Jesu Good likes to call it, the, uh, the, parody, the Paradisa minifigure. If I could just get these handcuffs in Joker's hands. That would be nice instead of him hitting his head knocking his hairpiece off. I am being so clumsy today. I mean, but, yeah, anyway, so, um, yeah. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share, and subscribe, and shut up, lawnmower. Um, I'm not talking to you guys, but, um, yeah, so, like, like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you'd like to see me do more minifigure blind bag openings. And maybe I'll pick up more of Series 17 or the next series to come out because um, on the back, they do say, Who stole my corn? And then a hand right there, which that could just be a um, the mystery minifigure of this wave. Or what I think it could be is they're going to have a mystery minifigure in the next wave. Because from what I heard is that the next wave is going to be like completely suit design. Like it's going to be all about Lego minifigure suits. Um... So, yeah, or it might not be that, and it could just be a Lego Ninjago wave, because that would make sense, because it's like a ninja stealing that. Oh, that actually is pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure they are actually going to come out with a Lego minifigure suit wave in the future, or just like, you know, the, the minifigures and costumes, like the corn and the cob and hot dog, which honestly isn't that exciting, but... Anyways, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!